Welcome back to The Vocalist. I am very excited for this week's videos because we've got a little theme going. So for this video and the following two, we will be featuring artists from Australia. Starting today with John Farnham. I have not heard him before, so we are going to be listening to his live cover of the Beatles song, Help. Here we go. Here's an oldie but a goodie. When I was younger, so much younger than today, I met. Thank you. This is so exciting. Um, the cover alone is just, I, I don't, I, I wasn't expecting it. I hate that I always say that, but it's just such a cool version of this song. Let me go back. Um, I think I'm going to try, well, no, I'm going to go back to the beginning when he starts singing because those first few notes, so powerful. And of course I'm, I'll probably listen to the audience as well, but um, then I'll I'll actually focus on his voice. When I was younger, so much younger than today, I never... I just, watching him interact with the audience is so breathtaking to see. Like, the smile on his face, the moment he hears them singing along, he's like, absolutely, like, join me in this entire experience. And I love that. Um... Let me play that again. His tone, it's very unique. It's got this really warm, um, mellow quality to it, but then you can hear just that tiny bit of raspiness that gives it just this added dimension and added texture. And I really, I really like it. Let's see. When I was younger, so much younger than today. Thank you. I can 
cannot get over this tone. It looks like he's just breathing. Like it looks so effortless and so natural. I'm also very captivated by his physical build because looking at just how strong and almost like wide his neck is, I'm just picturing like the beautiful larynx inside and how all of that is interconnected with like the tone we're hearing, which is just so stunning. The way he said please, did you, mm, let me play that back. It almost looks like he's saying ah, gorgeous, gorgeous vowel modification. He's really taking advantage of like the height of his tongue to create that E sound, but it's like still just super relaxed, no tension, like giving, him spell, giving himself the space he needs to like create this glorious sound. I'm just, also the way he's saying help, like that little tiny, tiny, like it's almost like a whimper at the very beginning of that word. And I feel like it's really helping him to access like a little bit more head resonance, um, which is giving us like that, that ping that I talk about, you know, like we want like a full rich sound, but we also need a little bit of brightness in order to like create that thrilling tone and he he's got it he's got it all i'm gonna keep going popping up into those high notes. It's so well supported, so well supported. The other thing I'll mention is that we've, we're getting like some slight runs at the ends of certain phrases. So you can hear like just how much dexterity he has. And I, I feel he's just got it all, you know, like you want the powerful notes, you want the range, you've got the, the runs and the riffs and it's like, it's all there and stage presence. Like, yeah. That just came out of nowhere. Like <laughs> he is cool as a cucumber and so well supported. He's taking a gorgeous breath, like giving him time. And so it, without it being like this huge gasp, we don't expect like this big, powerful sound. Like he, it's, it's a surprise in the best possible way. Oh, I love that. Oh, okay. I I promise 
we'll get through this. I just, I never know when something's going to be repeated, whether it's a sound or a musical inclination, you know, I don't know if they do it again. So last time. speaking range it's still so full and it's got just a little bit of that ping so that we don't feel like we're losing his tone entirely I mean it happens to the best of us it's definitely happened to me before where I feel like I've got all these glorious like high notes and like my money spot and then I've like come back down into my chest voice and it's like gone no it's like so present and so well aligned and I'm just what a great performance too. This is just so thrilling. Like his stage presence is so exciting. Time that last one that was so soulful oh hey. that little slide oh one more time sorry As glorious as that was, I feel like I've only scratched the surface. Like you can hear so many cool textures in his voice. Um, just the tiny nuances when he's like moving through his registration and then the moments when he adds like more rasp, when he adds more clarity, um, a little bit more fullness. There was just so much on top of just like incredible skill and range and dexterity and all the things, all the things. So yes, I will be listening to um, Mr. Farnham a bit more um, in future just because he's got such a unique tone, but it's also, I keep saying the word thrilling, but you know, it's just uh, you you don't know what's going to come next. It's, it's very exciting to like be mildly in suspense in a safe way. I don't want to be nervous because I'm not sure if they're going to hit a note. I like being nervous and have that anticipation because you know how much they can do and you just don't know like where they're going to go with it. And that's how I feel with him. Like, yeah, so much more to explore. So thank you <laughs> very much for this recommendation and for watching with me. And hopefully I will see you next time.